So these are the top five trending cybersecurity jobs right now in 2023. And number one might actually surprise you. By trending, I mean they are high in demand right now and you get a high salary for your position. And for every job in this list, they are the highest paying cybersecurity jobs based on CompTIA. Starting at number five, we're looking at cybersecurity analysts. No surprise there because cybersecurity analyst is considered to be the stepping stone into your cybersecurity career, excluding a job at help desk. With an average salary of $106,000, this is a very high paying job considering that it is most often than an entry-level job. You will most likely work in a security operations center. Your responsibilities would include monitoring, detecting, containing, and remediating IT threats. This means that there will be days where you will have to investigate threats and implement appropriate measures to protect your organization's security posture. Most security analysts would have some form of a system admin or help desk experience, but that's not always the case. Take me for example, I have a software engineer background. I was able to go into a security analyst position just fine. If you want to learn more about how I got into cybersecurity with a software engineer background, click on this video up here. With that said, most companies are looking for someone with a degree in either computer science or an IT related field. The best way to get into this job is to upskill yourself with a couple of certificates. If you haven't done so already, then go through CompTIA A+, as it will teach you the basic fundamentals of computer systems. Then add CompTIA Network Plus and Security Plus under your belt. Network Plus will teach you the basics of networking like IP addresses and subnet, and Security Plus will teach you the core knowledge about cybersecurity. Going on to number four, we have Penetration and Vulnerability Tester or commonly known as Pentester. This job is most commonly portrayed in movies where people are trying to hack into each other's computers. Step one, identify the target and its flaws. So what exactly is penetration testing? There are good and bad sides to hacking. In the field of pen testers, there are called white hats, which represents the good hackers and black hats, which are the opposite. The job is to basically put yourself in a black hat's shoes and think, if I were them, how would I penetrate into this security system? The goal is to figure out the potential loopholes, document the vulnerability, and fix them up before they are exposed. So if you're into this kind of thing, then you'll be happy to know that the average salary for this position is $120,000. Okay, that sounds cool, but how do you get into this job? First thing to point out that this is not an entry-level position. You must level up your IT and cybersecurity experience first, which means mastering all the necessary skills of a security analyst. On top of that, you need to get good at scripting. So you need to get familiar with programming languages like Python and also experience in other operating systems like Linux. So how do you go about getting this knowledge? CompTIA recommends Linux Plus and Pentest Plus. So Linux Plus will cover topics like using the command line, installations, configurations, and basic networking applications. And Pentest Plus will teach you vulnerability scanning, understanding legal and compliance requirements, and produce proper written remediation techniques. Number three, we have security engineers. Cybersecurity engineers are focused on building and maintaining systems that are safe against malicious attacks. They focus on fixing and protecting the systems and stay up to date on new cyber technology. These are the people that work alongside security analysts to build monitoring systems like dashboards, automations, and alerts. They're also in charge of maintaining systems to keep them from breaking down. So the average salary for this job is $127,000, which is pretty high. And with this salary, you're expected to have a couple of years in cybersecurity field under your belt. The main responsibilities include creating new solutions to solve existing security security issues, so problem solving is a very desired skill to have. You will also be enhancing security capabilities and implementing policies. So if a pen tester discovers a vulnerability, then you would have to work your magic and close that gap. To get into this role, you need all the prerequisite skills and knowledge of a security analyst. There are times where you might even need pen testing experience as this position can cover multiple areas. Since security engineers are more technical, you'll be expected to have experience in databases, so knowing SQL will be useful. Experience in Windows, Linux, and other operating systems is also required as it will help you navigate computer systems. You'll also be dealing with automation, so knowing Python or PowerShell would 
be necessary. Number two, we have Cybersecurity Manager. We're not entering non-technical space. As you can imagine, Cybersecurity Manager is in charge of the overall cyber safety of an organization. This is a very advanced position, so we're looking at an average salary of at least $150,000. With a high salary comes with a higher level of responsibilities. This is a leadership position, so you will be leading the day-to-day -day security operations of your team. Along with managing your team, you will be the subject matter expert in designing and implementing solutions on the cloud, on-premise, and on endpoint infrastructures. To get into this job, you will need to build experience from the bottom up. That means at some point, you will have to go through at least one of the previously mentioned jobs for a couple of years. So CompTIA recommends CASP or CISSP certificates. These certificates are advanced and they go through topics like security architecture, security operations, governance, risk, and compliance, and security engineering. Number one, we have Cloud Security Engineer. Most of our data is heading into the cloud, so cloud security is very important in every single organization. A lot of companies are adopting the cloud technology and it will only increase, so the demand for cloud security engineer will definitely increase as well. With the high demand, the average salary for this job is $140,000. This is pretty high for a technical job and a cloud security engineer is responsible for implementing and maintaining a cloud system. Example cloud system could be AWS or Microsoft Azure. The focus for this job is on more specific tasks like software network and systems. Some examples are designing and maintaining cloud applications, developing systems on the cloud for the business, and creating disaster recovery systems to prevent data loss. So to get into this job, you need all the prerequisites of a security analyst and about three to five years of experience in the IT space. Comte recommends Cloud Plus certification, which runs through topics like cloud architecture and design, cloud security and deployment, operations and support, and troubleshooting. If you guys found this video insightful and helpful, then please leave a like and subscribe as it helps me understand what kind of content that you guys like. Thanks for watching.